I'm super excited for today's product guys because I may have here with me the world's smallest laptop. It is the GPD Pocket. And it's so small in fact you could almost call it a palm top, I mean an overpowered palm top, but laptop, palm top, whatever. It's got a seven inch screen, so super small. And uh, well, let's just go ahead, open up the box and see how small it really is. Wow. So obviously this is the box for the GPD Mini and it's a rather plain black box with some gold lettering here at the top. GPD stands for Gamepad Digital. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up and it should open with a flap just like that. And you can already see how tiny this laptop is. Um, let's just take that out and set that there. Before we take a closer look at that, let's check out the accessories. Right, USB, USB cable running. Oh, it's USB-C to USB-C. And the charger there. With your manuals and the screen protector like that. Right, set that over there, close it up, and take a look at this GPD mini laptop. Okay, and here is the laptop itself. Um, yeah, it's quite plain. It's just really silver and not many markings, logos or anything on it, except for small amount of lettering here at the bottom and the GPD logo on the bottom as well. Got these four small uh, grayish rubber feet, but other than that, very plain. And I like it like this actually. Um, yeah, nothing too distracting and it's all metal. Got a very nice solid feel to it. Okay, the ports however, let's see. Okay, nothing on this side, but on the side here, you can see USB 3, an audio jack, mini HDMI, and the USB-C, okay. Whoa, okay, so they've really made good use of the space here down at the bottom. The keyboard's taking up the, the whole of the space, in fact, and they've uh, got rid of what most modern laptops have, which is the trackpad, and instead replaced it with this pointing stick here, which some of you, uh, the younger audience out there, might maybe unfamiliar with. Um, yeah, the, the two mouse clickers down here, and it seems, is that one space bar, two space bars? I'm not sure, we'll, uh, we can test that out in a little bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn it on so we can really have a look at the screen. Um, as I said before, seven inch screen. Okay, there you go with the GPD logo. And the bezels, hmm, reasonably, reasonably wide bezel here at the side, but very slim at the top. So it does make a good use of the space. Again, okay, we're loading, loading. Let's see if this computer's gonna uh, wind up quickly. Mm -hmm. And it seems, oh, looks like we're straight in with the Windows 10 OS. Welcome, thank you. Okay, wow, <laughs> right, yes to use your glasses if your eyes aren't that great. However, I'm sure we can turn up the text size a little bit here. This is really a mini screen, but actually looking pretty good uh, in terms of the quality. Let's have a little click around and look at the specifications of this machine. Might need to. So we're in here. Uh, yep, Windows 10, 64-bit official windows on this tiniest of laptops, Intel Atom processor, and eight gigabytes of RAM. Hmm, all right then. That's actually pretty impressive for such a small machine. Okay, and the display, okay, as expected, running with a Intel HD graphics card. I think it's uh, Intel HD 500. Now, just to be extra thorough with testing out this keyboard. Oh, I've opened up a notepad and I'm gonna start trying to type some things onto it. See how well it works. Um, the, the placement is a bit different from what I'm used to, but as I say, huh, oh, okay, so they're both 
Both of those are both spacebar, even though there's two buttons. Okay, anyway, as I say, uh, the keyboard buttons do have a nice feel to them. Generally, it's not too hard to get used to considering the size, aside from the fact that the placement's a little bit strange. Okay, let's try to... Okay, good. And another thing, a very important thing that I need to mention about this is that it doesn't really matter whether you're down with the whole pointing stick thing or not because one of the absolute key features of this device is that it's a touch screen. It's got a capacitive touch screen on it. So if I just want to click something, do that, uh, click down here, over here, yeah, works like that. So actually, to put this to the test a bit more thoroughly, let's go ahead and open up a paint file. Good, done, and there's the sun. Right, I, I think it works pretty well. Good touch screen, I like it, and overall, the laptop is running very smoothly. I've, I've seen no noticeable lag with it yet, either with the drawing or with the typing. This laptop will be running well on most things you can throw at it. It's not a performance beast, however, it does pack a lot into such a small package. And you can pre-order this now for just shy of $500. And well, for that price, it's pretty good considering that it's one of the world's smallest laptops. It might be the world's smallest laptop that is widely available. Okay, just to run you guys through a few more of the numbers, the display is 1920 by 1200 IPS touch display. Uh, in terms of the internal storage, it's got 128 gigabytes of eMMC storage. And for the uh, battery, it's got a 7,000 milliamp hour battery. So pretty big battery. Uh, I have reviewed a couple smartphones with even bigger battery than this, but naturally in order to keep it such a small size, it won't have as large a battery as most other laptops. But considering the screen's smaller, this should be able to last quite a while on one charge. Right, and as for the name, the GPD Pocket, let's see, does it really fit in your pocket? Or rather, does it fit in my pocket? Let's see. Um, I think my trousers are kind of normal, should, should be able to fit if it lives up to the name. Let's just shut this down first of all. Okay, close it like that. And should fit. Yeah, it does, just in there like that. Okay, there you go, the GPD Pocket. You can get this now from geekbuying.com for just shy of $500. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe.